This is an example of calculating a geometric mean return and why that is important. Here we are given four annual returns, 20%, minus 42%, 57%, and minus 5%, and we want to know the average annual return. The incorrect method is to find the simple average or arithmetic average, which would be 8% here. If I take away this box, you'll see the values that were used to produce these percentages, and it's quite apparent that an investment that turns $10,000 into $10,400 in four years does not represent an 8% annual return. The correct method to use is called the geometric mean return. First, add one to the decimal form of all the returns. These are called return relatives, by the way. Then, multiply all these values together in parentheses. And we're going to raise this to an exponent, which is the caret or shift six in Excel. The exponent will be one over the number of years, which in this case is four. That goes in parentheses as well. Finally, subtract one. This gives us a result of 0.01 or 1%, which we can see makes much more sense. We've made $400 over four years, or $100 a year, from a starting value of $10,000, and $100 is in fact 1% of $10,000.